It's the 6th of December 2016 and the Durban University of Technology's student activist Bonginko C. Kanyile is back in court on quite a number of charges and among them is inciting violence and uh, trespassing. He has been behind bars since September in the current year. Bonginkosi Kanile's bail application has been denied. Uh, do not be discouraged, comrades. Né? This is part of the struggle. In fact, people give their lives for the struggle. There's already three students who've lost their lives because of fees must fall. Keep that in your mind. There's people who have given their lives for fees must fall. There are students who've given their lives for fees must fall. One of them, Kelvin, was the, the firstborn of five children, if I'm not mistaken. He was doing his last year. They stay in a shack at his home. And the government of the ANC killed Kelvin. They killed him. They killed him the same way they killed the Marikana miners. Yes. The same way they killed the Marikana miners. Yes. There is no time to massage the ANC. Mm. There is no time to massage white people because yeah. they are killing us. Yeah. They are killing our parents and they are killing us. It is a fact. Before I go, I take things any further. Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 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 If they are not going to listen to us, they must know that their future is not safe in this country. They must take a, a private jet with Guptas and fly somewhere. Yes. They must go somewhere. We don't know where they must go. But they must be rest assured that this country belongs to us. It's our land, Umtlava Wait. Yes. And we are going to benefit from Umtlava Wait. Cassia Kulu, tell the journalist, Durban.